Hello, everyone. My name is Gong. I'm very happy to present my work. This is the 13th ESM working paper. Strengthening financial firewalls against liquidity shocks is rising high again on the agenda of the Group of 20. This paper looks back into the history of G20 summits from 2008 to 2014 and examines how G20 countries delivered on their promises to enhance the global financial safety net. This paper finds that the safety nets significantly expanded in size, both at bilateral, regional, and global level. For instance, we observe that the lending capacity of the International Monetary Fund doubled during the crisis, and a number of regional financing arrangements were created to provide financing to countries in financial distress. This is the case of the European Stability Mechanism. These results were achieved mainly because of the urgency of providing liquidity during the recent crisis and the agenda setting power of a number of G20 host countries. On the other hand, we must notice that the commitment to reform the governance international financial institutions and to enhance coordination between the different layers of the safety nets was put on hold. In fact, national interests of G20 countries on this regard are very divergent. This year, in 2016, as the host country of the G20 summit, China reopened a working group on international financial architecture in order to encourage further actions to improve the global financial safety nets. Let us wait and see what will be achieved by September 2016 when the G20 summit will take place in Hangzhou in China. Thank you very much for your interest in my paper. Have a nice read.